Morning Year 6. In today's session we're going to have a little think about how to find the perimeters of some compound shapes. So if we just have a look at both of these shapes at the same time you'll probably notice that these shapes are made up of, uh, of a series of rectangles. Okay. Now in the last session we learned how to find the perimeter of a rectangle and how to find the perimeter of a square and we established that you had to uh, measure the distance around the outside of the shape. Now you'll probably also notice on both of these shapes that we've got some measurements uh, which are also missing. So the first thing that you would need to do is you need to use the um, relevant measurements that you're given to work out um, what the distances are that you're not given. So if we look at this um, letter L first of all, um, we, we can see here that we've got a distance of nine centimeters um, from the bottom of the shape up to the top. So this long uh, vertical side is nine centimeters. So if we were to start here and we measure the perimeter, so we know we're going in this direction, we know that that's nine centimeters. And then we go across the top of the shape and that is two centimeters. Um, but then I'll see that I don't have a value for this, uh, for this next vertical side, which is going down, but I do have a value over here of two centimeters. So to find this measurement, I look at the nine here, and I know this is already two, uh, and that would occupy this length here. So nine subtract two would give me a distance of seven centimeters. So I can now continue my journey around this shape. So I've got nine, two, and seven so far. Um, now, I've also got come up another problem now because I've got this horizontal distance here, which I haven't got a measurement for. But I do have this top measurement here, which is two centimeters. I've also got this bottom measurement here, which is seven centimeters. So I need to do the same thing. So here it's seven centimeters subtract two centimeters, which gives me five centimeters, which is this distance. Here. And then I continue my journey around the shape. So I've got two centimeters followed by seven centimeters, and then I get back to my I get back to my starting point. So now I've gone round the outside of this letter L, and I've got all the measurements that I need um, to calculate the perimeter. So let's just check what we need to do. So the little calculation I now need to do is 9, add 2, add 7, add 5, add 2, add 7. Okay, and they're all in centimetres. So if I do that calculation mentally, so 9 add 2 is 11, add 7 is 18, add 5 is 23, add 2 is 25, add 7 is 32. So the perimeter of this L shape here is 32 centimetres and I've proved that by using some of the information that I was given to help me work out some of the information that I didn't yet know. Okay, so that's that shape there. And then if we move on to this um, second shape, which is a, a U shape, you can see here that I've got eight centimeters, two centimeters, two, six, and two, which I'm already given. So I'll choose my starting point and I'm going to start in this bottom corner again. And I've got the first vertical measurement, which is eight centimeters. Then I've got two centimeters, so I know those two. Now, I've got a bit of a problem here because um, this um, vertical measurement here, I don't know what that measurement is. However, I do know that the opposite side is the same length, which it's six centimeters. So if this side here is six centimeters, this 
length here is also six centimeters so I can continue my journey so I'll go down to the bottom there and then I've got two centimeters which I'm given and then I continue my journey for another six centimeters then I've got two centimeters here and then well I don't have this measurement but I do know that the opposite side the opposite outside side is eight centimeters so um, I can add eight centimeters in over here and I carry on my journey so I've now got the base of this letter U uh, but I don't have a measurement for that so well what can I do here so I, I look back at my shape and I know that this distance here is two centimeters I know that this distance here is also two centimeters and this distance is two centimeters so two add two add two that occupies the same distance as this piece as this bottom here so that is six centimeters so I now complete my journey around the shape so so all I need to do now to find the perimeter of this um, letter U shape, having got all of my measurements added, is I need to add them all together. So, I'll, so again, I go back to my starting point and I'll start to add them together. So I've got eight, add two, add six, add two, add six add two, add eight, final one is add six. And again, they're all in centimeters. So I do another mental calculation. Eight add two is 10, add six is 16, add two is 18, add six is 24, add two is 26, add eight is 34, add six is 40. So the perimeter of this letter U is 40 centimetres. Now, if you're not sure what you've got to do, make sure that you look back at my videos and hopefully you'll find that helpful. Now let's just have a little recap. Now in today's work, what you're going to do, you're gonna do that in two stages and that might be over two days. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the perimeter of some compound shapes when you are given all of the relevant measurements. Okay, and then the second task will be for you to find the perimeter of some more compound shapes when you are not given all of the measurements. But what you need to do is you need to look at which sides are parallel to each other you need to look which sides you've got already given measurements for, and you can then hopefully make sure that you look at the relationship between um, all of the sides. So that will then help you to um, find the perimeter of those shapes. So look out for some parallel lines um, and look out for sides that are of the same length. And remember, Choose your starting point each time and make sure that you add all of the necessary measurements together. Good luck, you six. All the best. Thank you.